in LU decomposition, a system of equations AX equals to B, where A is a coefficient matrix, this is broken down into two matrices as L and U, where L is a lower triangular matrix and U is upper triangular matrix of this format. But how do we get two triangular matrices from a coefficient matrix? For this, what we'll do is first we'll multiply these matrices with these variables, which forms this particular matrix. And we already know this is equivalent to A. To understand this, let's take an example. For suppose A equals this one. And by comparison, we can say U11 is equals to 1 and U12 equals 2 and U13 equals 4. Now putting these three into these equations, we can get the rest of the elements. So the LU decomposition for this particular matrix is so for this coefficient matrix A, this is L and this is the U. Any square matrix can be decomposed into a lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix. Now the question is, how do we use this to solve a system of equations? Let's formulate the procedure. To solve the system of equations, the first step is changing AX equal to B to LUX equal to B. The second step is, we will assume that UX has a variable Y. Therefore, this will turn as Ly equals B. In this, we solve for Y. Then once we get the Y, we know that Y is basically UX. Again in this, we solve for X. And X is the answer. Let's take an example to understand this. Let me pick up the previous coefficient matrix itself. Here we have a system of equations, AX equal to B and represented in the matrix notation. The first step would be converting the A to L and U. This we have already done. So let me copy that over here. So this is the LU decomposition for the coefficient matrix A. The next step is we'll take this one as Y, which can be written as we have converted this LUX equal to B as LY equal to B, where Y is some Y1, Y2 and Y3, which is equivalent to this. Then we need to solve for Y. So just multiply this. The equations will be this with this. It becomes y1 equals 3, then this with this, 3y1 plus y2 equals 13, then this with this, 2y1 plus y2 plus y3 equals 4. So we already have y1. So the matrix y is basically y1, y2, and y3. So y1, we already know it is 3. Then substitute this into this, and then we can find out y2 which is 4. On the same lines, if we substitute y1 and y2 in this, we get the y3 and it is minus 6. So we got the y. Now, the step 3 is writing ux as y, which is we write these two matrices over here and this particular y is equivalent to that. Again, we multiply this and we get the x equations as and by solving this, we get x as 3, 4 and minus 2. And this x itself is the answer. As you can see, this is a very lengthy process. It's not advisable to use this in the gate exam. The better approach is Gauss elimination. So better stick to that.